What's up, everybody? Patrick Draper. Uh, I want to get some off my chest. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of judgment and from people lately, and I feel like I need to not not just not stay quiet. I feel like I need to just speak up for myself. Uh, I feel like I need to speak up for other Christians as well. Who who feel who feel like they have to go through this? You know, uh, you people will go out and criticize somebody for wearing a black veil bride shirt or a hat like this, and they'll just they'll go out and they go out and and criticize it, but yet they don't they don't look at their own problems. I mean, it baffles me that somebody will wear a shirt that say repent or perish or a shirt saying I'm a Jesus freak. And then they'll go out and criticize somebody else's appearance what somebody else has on. And when it come to when it come to people out on the on the streets, those who are sick, poor, the widows and the orphans They'll turn a blind eye and they'll turn their nose up. And I'm I'm just here to say that, that when it comes to Christ, when it comes to th those things, what we were really don't matter. It really don't mean a thing. Because what God sees is He sees our heart. He sees our character. He sees what we go out and do for other people and what we do for Him. And he looks at that. He doesn't look at a baseball cap. He doesn't look at a t-shirt. He don't look at none of that. Because none of it matters. Your actions and your character say much more than some t-shirt or some baseball cap. Your actions and your character speaks volumes about who you are as a person. And what you what you're willing to do for somebody in order to make somebody else's life better. And that's that's what that's what this is all about. Only those who how am I putting this? Only those who are obsessed with their own self righteousness would go out and say the things that these judgmental people say and do the things these judgmental people do. They feel like they got to work their way into heaven. You don't have to work your way into anything. It's already done for you if you accept it. But a part of accepting it is realizing that there are other people that God died for, that God sent Jesus to die for too. I mean, wake, wake up, y'all. Wake up, church. Realize that... Uh, this is bigger than anything you can you can wish for, hope for, dream of. It's bigger than all than all of this. And you can't sit back and dictate dictate what Jesus died for because obviously it won't it's not your plan. It's his plan to save us. Y'all have a blessed day.